Well, just a minute. I'm, in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to start with something I know you want to see, and that's the world-famous Star Trek blooper reel. <laughs> First, just a word about what we're going to talk about tonight. Let me describe it this way. That if I were making today, 1982, a new Star Trek television series, the things we'll be discussing this evening are the kinds of things we would make the episodes about in these series. So uh, you, you kind of give you a preview of what we will be doing and perhaps what somebody will be doing someday. These subjects are intimately about you, they're about your immediate future, your tomorrow. There are some things in it that are kind of scary, but also some things that are very, very up, very, very exciting about this species of ours. But not to the bloopers. These that you're going to see as a special treat are is the best print of the bloopers as it exists. Totally clean, I think you're like that. And for those of you who don't know what the bloopers are, they, they are mistakes. They, they are goofs that are made on camera. And what makes ours particularly funny and particularly good is, first of all, they were made in television, in science fiction television, where you, move, you have to move so fast to turn out the equivalent of half a science fiction movie every week. There just got to be a lot of mistakes. Also, we were blessed with great actors, very intelligent actors, who if they, if they blew a mind, what, the way they would recover would be funnier than any <coughs> comedian. <Right. laughs> Except for the editing and the, and the scoring, uh, what you'll see in these, they're, they're just exactly as, as they happened on stage and uh, as they came as a surprise to us. For example, you'll see in one of them, Kirk and Spock are standing there expecting to see on a, on a monitor screen an alien vessel go by. Unknown to them, the camera crew has, has inserted a picture of a naked woman. 